Memento, mementos and mementos. Look at this. So plural can be made by adding only S as well as ES. Mosquito, mosquitoes and mosquitoes with ES and with S only. Tornado, tornadoes and tornadoes. Volcano, volcanoes or vol volcanoes. Zero, zeros or zeros. Some nouns that end in O add either ES or S to form the plural, with ES being the more usual plural form. And some of the nouns, we, made their, we make their plural by changing the FA sound F into VES. Calf, calves. Half, halves. Knife, knives. Leaf, leaves. Life, lives, loaf, loaves, shelf, shelves, and shelf, shelves. So these you will have to learn by heart. There is no other thing that you can do with them. Thief, thieves, and wolf, wolves. Scarf, again it has got two plurals. Scarfs or scarves. Some nouns that end in fa or fe are changed to VES to form the plural. Belief, beliefs, chief, chiefs, cliff, cliffs, and roof, roofs. Some nouns that end in F simply add S to form the plural. One deer and two deer. Now, deer does not have plural. You cannot say deers. One deer, two deer. One fish, two fish. But remember, fish can have a plural as well. If in a pond or in a stream, there are multiple types of fish. So you can say fish, fishes. Otherwise, if the fish is of one kind only, then fish and two fish or three fish or four fish. But if the kinds are many, then fish, fishes. One offspring and two offspring. One series or two series. One sheep or two sheep. One shrimp or two shrimp. One species or two species. So again here, you will have to learn by heart these nouns. Okay? Some nouns have the same singular and plural form. One deer is two deer are. Remember. Two dear are. Criterion, criteria. Phenomenon, phenomena. So criterion is singular. Criteria is plural. Phenomenon is singular. Phenomena is plural. Bacterium, singular. Bacteria, plural. Curriculum, singular. Curricula or curriculums, plural. Datum, singular, data, plural. Medium, singular, media, plural. Memorandum, singular, memoranda, plural. Analysis, singular, analyses, plural. Synopsis, singular, synopses, plural. Thesis, singular, theses, plural. Crisis, singular, crises, plural. Biases, singular, biases, plural. Hypothesis, singular, hypotheses, plural. Parenthesis, singular, parenthesis, plural. So some nouns that English has borrowed from other languages have foreign plurals. So these words English language has borrowed from some other languages. So their plurals have also been borrowed. Okay, but some of the words like curriculum, now they have been English Englishized. So curriculum, it has two plurals, curricula or curriculums. So this is the exercise. Write the plural form of each word in the correct column. Some forms have two possible spellings. So this you should do yourself. These are the answers. So th these are some other exercises.
Bacteria are the smallest living things. So bacteria, bacteria are. They are simple organisms that consist of one cell. Bacterium exists almost everywhere. They are in the air, water and soil as well as in the body of all living creatures. So bacteria exist almost everywhere. They are in the air, not bacterium. They are in the air, water and soil as well as in the bodies of all living creatures. So viruses are. Virus is, but viruses are. Virus cause many disease. This is wrong. Viruses cause many disease. They infect human beings with such illness as influenza, the common cold, measles and AIDS, for example. Viruses cause many diseases. Viruses are tiny. The girl, the girls. Now we are going to study possessive nouns. Possessive nouns, they show the possession of something. Like, these are my glasses. So my is adjective and glasses is a noun. But I can say Khurram's glasses. Ali's glasses. So Ali plus apostrophe S and then glasses. The girl's glasses. Tom's glasses. My wife's glasses. A lady's glasses. Thomas glasses. Now Thomas is a word which is ending with sa sound. So its possessive can be made in two different ways. In British English, usually when the word is ending with sa sound, s, only apostrophe is added. And in American English, along with apostrophe, s is added. So both the forms are given here, Thomas glasses or Thomas glasses. In Urdu, we have a word ghayas. So ghayas glasses. So it is up to you. G-H-I-A-S. Ghayas apostrophe and glasses or ghayas apostrophe S and glasses. To show possession, add an apostrophe. And to a singular noun, the girl's book is on the table. If a singular noun ends in S, there are two possible forms. Add an apostrophe and S, Thomas book, or add only an apostrophe, Thomas book. This is what I have just explained. Ghayas book or Ghayas along with apostrophe S is added. Ghayas book. So it is up to you. Both forms are correct. But usually in Pakistan, we follow British English. So it is better that only apostrophe is added when the word is ending with S or Sa sound. The girls, the girls here is plural. So look at the possessive form. The girls' glasses, the wives, the wives' glasses. Do not go for another S. My suggestion to you is this. The ladies' glasses, the ladies' books, the ladies' purse, the men's laptops, the men's glasses. So men's is not ending with S. So apostrophe plus as S is added. The children's glasses, the children's books. So children is not ending with S. So add apostrophe as well as S. I hope the difference is clear. Add only an apostrophe to a plural noun that ends in S. The girls' books are on the table. Add an apostrophe and S to plural nouns that do not end in S. The men's books are on the table. The men's because the word men which is plural, it is not ending with S. So add apostrophe as well as S. The men's books are on the table. Alan and Lissa's apartment is on the third floor. So Lissa's apartment. When two or more names are connected by and, only the final name shows possession. That is why Alan and Lissa's apartment. Ahmed and Aisha's apartment. Ahmed and Aisha's car. Vakar and Lubna's house. 
when two or more names are connected by and only final name shows possession so this is the exercise that you can do remember that we also use nouns as adjectives for example the soup has vegetables in it so soup is a noun and vegetables is another noun but here vegetables is used as a plural noun but when we make an adjective from the noun then only singular noun is used as adjective it is vegetable soup now you cannot say vegetables soup it is vegetable soup so vegetables is turned into a singular noun and then it is used as adjective the building has offices in it here offices is a plural noun it is an office building from offices we have made office adjective office building you cannot say offices building it is an office building when a noun is used as an adjective it is in its singular form so incorrect will be vegetables soup wrong vegetable soup offices building wrong only office building again i repeat when noun is used as an adjective it is used in a singular form the test lasted 2 hours it was a 2 hour test now 2 hours again it is turned into an adjective it is used in a singular form it is it was a 2 hour test her son is 5 years old she has a 5 year old son year old son because year here is used as an adjective you can't say she has a 5 years old son wrong okay her son is 5 years old now you are using it as adjective so she has a 5 year old son when a noun used as a modifier is combined with a number expression the noun is singular and a hyphen is used so this will be an incorrect sentence she has a 5 years old son this is wrong so this is another exercise on we have just what uh, we have just talked about so i have talked about count nouns and noun non count nouns because countable nouns they have got plurals and uncountable nouns they do not have plurals i bought a chair sam bought three chairs so chair it has got a plural because it is countable we can count pen tie phone mobile okay but we cannot count furniture we bought some furniture so incorrect we bought some furniture wrong furniture does not have plural we bought a furniture wrong because furniture is uncountable noun so with uncountable noun we cannot use a or an or we cannot make it its plural count noun a chair or one chair two chairs some chairs a lot of chairs many chairs or chairs count noun may be preceded by a or an or one in the singular takes a final s or es in the plural so that's all for today now let me summarize i have talked about nouns today i have said that nouns are countable as well as uncountable i have said that nouns countable nouns they have got singular and plural forms non countable nouns they do not have any plural form with non countable nouns we cannot use a or an a or an they are used before countable nouns a mobile a phone a laptop a chair but we cannot say a furniture okay water is uncountable we cannot say a water yes if you are using two different kinds of soaps in two different washrooms and then two different kinds of water is coming out of these two washrooms you can say waters and if in two glasses two colors two color water exists then you can say yellow water as well as blue water so waters 
otherwise water is uncountable so you cannot use a or an before it but with countable nouns we can use a or an before it and we can make their plurals we have talked about how plurals are made we have talked about what is a common noun what is a proper noun common noun is a noun which is shared by all proper noun is a noun which is the name of a particular person place or a thing abstract noun exists in the mind we cannot touch it we cannot see it like slavery like cleverness like shrewdness and concrete noun is a noun which we can see we can touch like table like chair thank you very much